like to come up? Can I count? Oh, that's an end. I'll come up shortly. Can I count these real quick? Uh, okay. Then we will call on... Conda! <laughs> We have a short staff today. All right, thank you. Honda, on your hiking adventures, please tell us how serendipity led you to places you never expected to go. Well, I've met a topic master. I've never been to Belize, and I've never ridden bicycles in France. So I am missing that. But Serendipitously, I have experienced other things in my travels, inadvertent <laughs> meetings of people, and there's just so many things to think about. What shall I talk about? <laughs> well, when I was, I think it was 15 years old, my uh, brother, my dad, and I went up to the, my, were with my mother as well, in Norway, visiting relatives in Norway. We, the, my dad, and my brother, and I went up to a grass-roofed cabin up in the mountains to stay with friends, and dad would stay indoors in the cabin in the mountains while my brother and I would go hiking up in the the, the mountains above, and it was a serendipitous experience because we didn't know we were, we, my brother and I didn't know where we were going to go, there weren't any real trails, we just were Daniel Boone and, and his sidekick, hiking up above, going onto the plateau where there are no trees, meeting the mosquitoes, and just experiencing the natural world as though it, we were the first people ever to see it. And that was an experience, perhaps the most amazing hiking experience I ever had, was to, to do that. And come back, and my, what was nice, uh, my dad didn't ask us where we went or what we did. He trusted that we'd take care of ourselves with some cliffs that we climbed. But we made, made it back. Okay. I'm here to tell the story. Thank you.